private investigator, the boy repeated with interest. Like on TV? Yes, like on TV, Zachary agreed. And I'm going to find out what happened to him. What can you tell me about the day he disappeared? Nando shook his head at the boy, warning him. Why don't we go somewhere, Zachary suggested. We can go talk somewhere more private. I'll take this, he indicated the box to Nando, and keep it safe. Then you won't have to worry about it anymore. The boy looked at Zachary and Nando uncertainly. He shrugged. You want to buy me pizza? Zachary couldn't help laughing. Of course. I'd be happy to buy you pizza. He handled the box carefully, trying not to destroy any evidence. It had a handle on top that he unfolded and hung on to with two fingers, in an effort not to get more fingerprints on it. He and the boy walked back through the apartment and out the door. Nando didn't follow or make any threats. Zachary breathed a sigh of relief when he was out of the oppressive atmosphere of the apartment. While no threats had been made, they had not wanted him there. If they decided to gang up on him, he wouldn't have been able to protect himself from all of them. As the apartment door shut behind them, he turned to the younger man. I'm Zachary. Philippe, nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me know about Jose's box. I'm sure he would have wanted it to be taken care of. Philippe looked sideways at him and didn't comment. How long has it been since you have seen Jose? A week, maybe a little more. Hard to remember. I don't keep track of him. No, of course not. You have a job, and he has his, and the two of you don't have a lot of time to hang out together. Philippe nodded his agreement. The days run together. I can't keep track. And Nando? He didn't want you to talk about it? Philippe laughed. Nando doesn't want me to talk about anything. He's always saying to keep my mouth shut. Don't talk to anyone about anything. Don't give them something to remember. Just keep your head down and don't make waves. I guess he has lots of experience. But still, you can't always live your life that way, hiding from everybody else. It's not normal for me, Philippe agreed. I'm a very friendly pe person. I like to talk to people. I like to have fun and have parties. Nando says, none of that. Don't let anyone see you. That would be very hard, Zachary said encouragingly. Though, personally, he would much rather be holed up in his apartment alone most of the time, not out partying or visiting. But Philippe was naturally gregarious, and it would be difficult for him to live that way. So were you and Jose good friends? We talked sometimes. He didn't spend much time at the apartment, but when he was around, we would talk. He liked to talk to people, too. He was good friends with a couple of friends of mine. Philippe cast a sideways glance at Zachary. He was following Zachary's lead back to where his car was parked, but didn't ask where they were going. What friends? Philippe asked eventually. Pat Parker and Lorne Peterson? Philippe nodded slowly. He didn't say anything to indicate whether he knew who they were or whether, like Nando, he thought they were girlfriends. Zachary decided to approach it from another direction. Jose had family back home? Yes, Philippe nodded eagerly. You saw his picture. A very nice family. It must have been hard for him to be away from them. Of course. He loved his wife and children very much, but he couldn't make the money they needed to survive in El Salvador. He came here to make a better life. They were supposed to follow him sometime. So when you didn't see Jose, did you think he'd gone back to El Salvador? Back there? No. Why would he go back? He needed to work here to support them. There wasn't an emergency back home. They didn't call him to say he had to go back to see his family. Maybe one of his children was hurt or they were in some kind of danger. No, nothing like that. Philippe shook his head, eyebrows drawing down. Who told you that? The first thing everybody says is, maybe he went home. Philippe shook his head with certainty. He would never go back. Not even to visit? Not even if something had happened to his children? If he went back, they would all be killed. He could never go back. Zachary raised his brows. He would be killed. By who? He had trouble with one of the cartels. His family was safe as long as he left, but if he went back... Zachary thought that through. They walked in silence for a while. Zachary indicated his car as they walked up to it. This is mine. I want to put this box away. Where do you want to go for pizza? Do you have a favorite place or just anywhere? Wherever you want, Philippe said agreeably. Zachary stole the box away, and they both got into the car. He looked on his phone for a pizza place in a slightly nicer area of town and started the engine. He didn't want to ask Philippe too much until he was a captive audience. Once he was eating, Philippe wouldn't want to interrupt his meal just because the questions were getting uncomfortable. He'd want to eat all he could while he had the chance. Zachary suspected he was probably not getting enough to eat on a daily basis. 
Once they were settled and the pizza was being baked, Zachary continued the discussion. What do you think happened to Jose? Philippe pursed his lips, thinking about it. Nando says that people leave all the time. They can go on to another job, or they might be running away. If Ice showed up at his work, he wouldn't stay around. He wouldn't go back to the apartment. He would just leave. The police officer who was investigating his disappearance said that immigration was not involved. They don't have Jose, and as far as we can tell, they weren't investigating his work or anywhere that he was involved with. So why would he just disappear like that? Nando says, I want to know what you have to say. You seem like a bright young man. You seem like you were friends with Jose and care about what happened to him. I don't think Nando does. Philippe didn't say anything for a while. Nando does care, he said eventually, but he is always worried about how things are going to affect him. He doesn't want to have to run away. He wants to make money. He makes good money because he works hard, and he's the one who rents the apartment, so everybody's money goes to him. And he makes more than it takes to pay the landlord, Zachary asked. There were lots of beds in that apartment. If 15 or 20 men were paying a hundred dollars a piece for rent, Nando could be socking away a good amount of money just from the rent. He is the one who runs the risk, Philippe said with a shrug, so he gets paid something for it. Do you think Nando had something to do with Jose's disappearance? Philippe looked shocked by this suggestion. His eyes widened comically, and he shook his head vigorously. No, no, Nando would, wouldn't do anything to hurt Jose. He's a good man. He takes care of us. If someone is sick or hurt, he's the one who helps. He will get medicine or a doctor, or he can help someone escape if there's word on the streets that someone is looking for him. Nando is a good man, just very careful. Zachary nodded slowly. The waitress brought out their pizza and both men helped themselves. Zachary didn't see how he was going to be able to eat more than one slice of the huge pizza. Philip could have his fill and take the leftovers home to the other man in his apartment. But Nando doesn't know what happened to Jose. Philippe shook his head. He kept Jose's things, didn't get someone else in there to replace Jose right away in case he came back. But he is not coming back. Zachary chewed a mouthful of pizza, unable to answer right away. He swallowed. How do you know he's not coming back? If he was coming back, he would have by now. There wasn't anything to keep him away from the apartment, not for this long. Maybe a couple of times he stayed away with a friend overnight, but not a whole week. He didn't go to work, so I don't know what happened, but I don't think he's coming back. Do you have an idea of why not? What might have happened to him? This land, sometimes it just eats men up. Zachary considered all that Philippe was saying or not saying. Do you know Pat and Lauren Peterson? Philippe took another piece of pizza. Zachary wasn't even halfway through his. I met them, Philippe said finally, cautious. Nando thought they were Jose's girlfriends. Philippe laughed. Jose did not have any girlfriends. He didn't date anyone here because he had a wife back in El Salvador. Philippe looked at Zachary over his piece of pizza, studying him closely. You know Pat and Lorne, he asked. Lorne was my foster father. Philippe took another bite of his pizza, thinking about that. You know, <clears throat> you know that Jose dated men, he said finally. Zachary nodded. Yes, I know that. A lot of people might find that shocking, but I don't. Did other people in, his apart in the apartment know about him? Philippe shook his head. I do not think so. The only people who know are people he goes with, socially. And that included Philippe himself, Zachary realized. He raised his eyes to meet Philippe's. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were that close. Philippe nodded. He thought I was too young, he confided. He said I wasn't old enough to know what I wanted. But I have always known. Zachary wasn't sure what to say. He let Philippe's words roll around in his mind for a few minutes. He took out his notepad and pencil. I need to write a few things down before I forget. I'm not going to write down your name. You can look if you want to. Philippe shook his head. It doesn't matter. You can write my name. Do you, have an, do you have an idea what happened to Jose? Do you think he just left on his own? No, he would not have left unless he was in trouble. And if he was in trouble, the rest of us would be as well. Me and Nando, and everyone else who worked or lived with him, or socialized with him. Zachary nodded. There was silence as Zachary wrote his notes. There have been other men, Philippe said.